Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. It is the What If promo. And you guys are here with us with John Sims. That's my name, guys. Don't wear it out. But uh, the thing about it is, what is this What If promo? What's it about in these player analysis cards? Okay, we're going to break everything down for you guys right here, right now. All right, I got you. I got you, homie. So first off, I'm just going to pull up. I'm just going to pull up Twitter. This is where we found my, my man Twitter. And we're going to pull up FootWiz here. And it says, uh, one time, two plus overall upgrades for players. So attackers and mids just need their goals, their club to score six goals in five matches. Okay. And then defenders need one clean sheet in five matches. Guys, that's nothing. Almost all these players are actually playing pretty well right now. So when we're looking at investment style, oh my God, these are not bad, right? But where to buy them at? Are they worth it right now? Are they playable? Are they playable assets or whatnot? Here we go, guys. I got you guys right here. All right, first off, the objective card. So remember, guys, this could go up two points. So you're looking at like 90s. You're looking, this is like 87, all of that. Right, in Jane, he's gonna be a fantastic cam. Caputo, objective. Um, only three star, three star skills, not for me, but uh, let me tell you guys, not gonna be a bad card for objective and an 89 fodder, uh, easy, okay? Not bad, all right, we talked about this Rafina card, check out my other video on if it's actually worth it to do, but when the card, when you break down the card, it's actually a fantastic card, so, uh, yeah, this one's not bad either. Okay, and Galo Conte, my man, 2.4 million coins. It'll probably drop to like 2.2, but then it could go up back up to like three, it could go up to a 93 overall. It could go up to about 80, 83, 84 pace here. You're looking at 88. You're looking at like 85s. You're, this is going to be maxed out. So then you can start looking at instead of actually, but instead of boosting like doing a shadow on him, you know, what you can do is just start doing the hunters on him. You, you I mean, you can put even put a catalyst if you want. Like, where is that catalyst? You can even put a catalyst on him, boost that stuff up, and that's actually cool. So you might as well just do a hunter. Yeah, I mean, that one might be a great playable asset, and we all know Conte is insane in the midfield. Anyways, so the thing about it is this one's, this one's nuts, okay? This one's nuts. I, I, don't, I really don't know where this price is going to go. I, I just want to touch on that right briefly. But it could drop down to 2, uh, 2.1, and then it could go right back up. It just depends on how this market's pulling right now. It is six. It is 6.30 p.m. UK right now, okay, guys? So uh, all these players just uh, drop. Uh, the release and so as saturation in the market comes down they'll drop a little bit so like this uh smalling card it's been updated eight minutes ago this is tw first 20 minutes so this one should drop too as well but look at this six foot four three stars three star weak foot not terrible the work rates are there the power headers there the agility is there this is this is decent pace is actually decent if he goes up two points that's almost 87 88 pace then you're looking almost 80 uh, and dribbling stats, his defense stats are 100%. You can't get better than this. You can't really get better than that either. So that's almost like a, that's almost like an in-game center back, um, especially if that gets an upgrade, which is very possible. Five games to get a clean sheet. I think that's definitely doable. Skills, five-star skills, three-star weak foot, but he's got all the traits you need here. Jaden Sancho, let me tell you, bro. Let me tell you, bro. He's insane, okay? So uh, this one's nuts. I would probably throw either a Hunter or, or a Hawk. I'd probably throw the Hawk on there, drop him up, and then you got another, You got yourself another insane right mid. 1.3 million coins. This one's coming at 550,000. So uh, I just want to touch on him, his price here. Nah, price will uh, probably drop about 100K, I bet. Up to, and uh, let me tell you, it's 450K for an in back center back. That's not bad. In game center back. You're looking at around a million coins for this card, and I don't think it's bad. And remember, if this goes up two points, you're looking at almost full pace. You're looking at this almost full. You're looking at this almost full. Like, it's just dribbling. You won't even have to touch. Uh, it's, it's these are in-game 90 plus overall cards. This one's my favorite card out of the batch though 400k for an 85 right now at the end game, but right We're going towards the end game now uh, The reason why this one's great guys is because The reason why this one's great is you can actually throw a powerhouse because he's already fast enough And you can keep and he can make you can make those wing swinging balls down the midfield or you can actually drop him into center mid and play him in a three-back position and play him at CDM. And let me tell you, he's going to be an absolutely gnarly CDM. He's got the strength. He's got agility. He's got the pace. He's got the size. Uh, and plus the links, that kanji link. He's got like those unique... Uh, 
He's got those unique links in Bundesliga, League, and there's no good right. There's not a good right back in the Bundesliga, League, so that one's a fantastic card. And then we have Odegaard, okay? Now, Odegaard's a sneaky one. You just slap a hunter on him. He's already got the dribbling. He's, but they're saying that Odegaard's dribbling is better than Jane Sancho's, so I don't know. What's your debate? Uh, but the passing's there. It's almost like, it's honestly like Meizu Ozil, the card that like Meizu Ozil used to be. You know what I mean? Like, this is like the old Ozil. Like, this is that's what it is. That's what it is. Fantastic card. 500,000 for a cam in the in the prem. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad for another five star skiller. This one's gonna kind of remind me of like a, a better version of passing Zaha, okay? That's how I look at it with the left foot. Now Alejandro Gomez, Papa Gomez. This is probably the best player, arguably, that I think in in, uh, in this promo. Four star, four star. When you're talking about uh, about his size and everything, like I would probably throw a hawk on him and make him just absolutely gnarly. 92 overall. That one could go up two points as well. You're looking at playable assets potential for all of these cards. Now this one is probably the sneaky buy, guys. This is the sneaky buy. It goes up to night. We'll go up to 90 pace. This will all be good. This is all decent. It, it's a it's a very box to box card. You're looking at 2,400 in game stats right now, guys. Four star, four star, high high work rates, outside foot shot. Doesn't have the dribbling traits, but guys, that one's not a bad one. And plus, that could go up. That could go up to 88. Then you have an 88 C center mid with strong links to uh, your Mbappe. You know what I'm saying? We have Marcelo now. Now, Marcelo's the weird one, guys, because he's a little bit lower on the agility. So he's not personally my favorite when it comes to, like, the new meta that's coming out as uh, the game progresses. He does have the power header. He's six foot three. He's going to be a monster down there, but... You know, he's going to be super strong. But the thing about it is that agility is going to really hurt against some of these uh, in-game players. So watch out for that price to be very, very... That card to be decent when he's standing still. But if he has to turn on a, on a whim, he's just not going to do it. Now, Jovic. Now, this one's great, guys. Four-star, five-star. He's working on the chip. He has the chip shot, which is fantastic. Now, this is the weird part. You either slow it, flop an engine on him, make him like a little agile like that. You have to throw a finisher on him, make him a little bit slow. Or you throw a hunter on him and not, and not really worry about his dribbling. But he's got the five-star weak foot, so he's good on either side in the outside foot shot trade. So he's pretty much impossible to defend on the shot. So I don't think this one's the card for me. It's the interesting card. If you guys, it's a very interesting card, but I think it's definitely overpriced. But if that goes up to, if that remember, if that goes up to, uh, but if that goes up to an 89. You're looking at another like two, three, four points of pace here, right? And so you're looking at 87 to 89, and you're looking at 89 to 91 here. That's starting to make it, it makes it a little bit different. Then his dribbling stats go up, right? Then his shooting stats go up. So if his shooting stats go up into the 90s, then you're thinking we could probably actually move this around a little bit. And then you're looking at 95 pace with better dribbling and the decent shooting. And then you're looking at decent passing. So um you know that that's where that's where i really like this promo i like the idea that you know players are are developing in on their in game you know what i mean with their players now this one is actually a sneaky buy the sneaky buy okay this is the sneaky buy so here we go with the engine uh you actually slap an engine on him he'll be a 90 overall center mid passing decent but if you throw a powerhouse on him, you throw a powerhouse on him, he goes up to a 93 center mid CDM. Play him off Kim. You can play him off Kim. And dudes, like, look at this. You get him off Kim. You put him at, like, what, seven? Look at that. That's a 91 center mid, 85. It doesn't matter. Like, you're, you're getting a very solid center mid if you even play this guy off Kim. So in that idea, that one's not bad, man. That one's not bad. If you play it like that, there's so many good left wingers out there. So I, I would see people playing this more as the center mid. But, that, I mean, regardless, it's actually a decent card. If you guys are playing traditional, uh, it's going to be okay. It's just not... Uh, you're going to want that agility up. It's the only thing. You're going to want that agility up, in my opinion. So you're going to have to go with, like, either basic or you're going to have to go with finisher or you're going to have to go with engine. And uh, me personally, engine's probably the way to go. But then you're losing that shooting stats. But that's that call. Now, this one. Now, this one. You guys don't like playing with Mindy, right? Who likes playing with Mindy anymore? You know what I'm saying? Who likes playing with Mindy when you can get 92 overall? Yuri Baron Chiche. And plus the upgrades. I really forgot about the upgrades, guys. That card didn't go without without the upgrades. This one's good without the upgrades. With the upgrades, this is 2,400 in-game stats for a left back. For a left back. What is going on, guys? What is going on? I apologize if I'm running out. But, guys, that is the promo that they have dropped for us. 
Oh my goodness. Make sure you guys like, follow, subscribe, do all that stuff. Come by, check out our free trading channel. And guys, if you guys want to know player review or player training, we do a daily upload, daily trading tips on our upload on the YouTube channel here. So guys, check those out as well. Thanks for watching. Until next time.